From, from Bukhari, mm -hmm. yes, it says uh, narrated Aisha, the wife of the Prophet. I do not remember Al Qalm, my parents believing in any other religion other than the religion of Islam, and our believing uh, visited by Allah Messenger in the morning and in the evening one day while we were sitting in the house. So she talks about here, here. Can you go to the Sunnah, please? Uh, how, to, to watch that in the uh, Sunnah, uh, because yeah, yeah, yeah. relax, brother, relax. Yeah. Okay. You don't get so uh, yeah, panicky. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yes, sorry. You don't get so panicky. Relax. The wife of the Prophet. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I had not seen my parents following Islam since I attained the age of puberty. Not a day passed but the Prophet visited us both. So this was the Prophet visiting Aisha Radilanha Abu Bakr and his and his and her mother as she was already pubescent. So so she hadn't gone to the Prophet's house yet. She was not the marriage was not consummated yet. So this clearly states that she was pubescent. From her own lips she was pubescent. Not a day. So now the point that I'm trying to make to you is this. Now you're all right with it. You're no, happy no, with no, it. I, I can't understand what he says. So, so now you don't who's understand. Who's talking here? So On this you, hadith, who's you, talking? You, you asked me to give you hadith. One second, the phone. My phone is having problems, right? Because say the wife of Prophet. Prophet doesn't have only one wife. Has four wives. This is Aisha talking about Abu where Bakr. Says Aisha? Abu Please. Bakr okay. is the father of Aisha. Did okay, you know that? Where, where is the where it says? Did, did, you, did you know Abu Bakr is the, the wife of the Prophet? Right. I had, who is the wife of the Prophet? Who is the wife of the Prophet whose father is Abu Bakr? There is only one. Aisha radiallahu I had seen my parents following yes. Islam since since she was pubescent. Yeah, but who, and the Prophet wife and the, was talking here, man. That's what I'm asking. She you. talks about. Why says no Aisha? My father Abu ah, Bakr. Ah, Aisha. Okay, now right? I see that. Sorry, my father sorry, sorry. Abu Bakr, right? Okay. So who was the Prophet's wife, whose father was Abu Bakr? Aisha radiallahu anha, right? Mm -hmm. So she was pubescent. Now do you have a problem with it? Nine years old anyway is not is ah, normal. Ah, see? But it's not normal. Now what was he saying before this? He says if you show not, me a, if you show me a hadith, yeah, hold on a second, what did you say to me? If you show me a hadith that she says she was pubescent, I'll accept it. No I, problem. I can show you ten that yes? it doesn't say right. that he, he Now was... he's saying I still don't accept it. No, no, What's right? the matter with you, man? No, no, I can What's show the matter you ten with you? more hadith that this Now says let me ask you now now puberty. you said that once we discuss this point, we'll move on to the other points, right? Yeah. Okay. Is it acceptable? Sorry. To look at societal norms of a particular era and apply them retrospectively 14 centuries before to judge a moral condition of a people. Is it fair to do that? Because if you say yes, that's the fallacy of presentism. Are you going to adopt fallacies now? Okay, I did cheat right. I can understand. I want to because my English is not. Okay, let me explain to you nicely. Yeah. We have certain norms today in society, some things are normal. Yeah. They are normal because society thinks that they are okay. Yes? According to what? According to social consensus. According to According what? According to maturity as no. well. According can one, no. Can, please. No, no, can no. One, uh, one girl nine years old can take you, a decision you, you, about her you future. You misunderstand. Her future. You misunderstand. Now, nine years brother, old. Brother, brother, relax. You, you, miss my, you. you miss my point. My point. But according to who? You miss my point. My point is society within a non-religious uh, way, in a non-religious uh, country, they base morality on social consensus what do everybody feel mm -hmm. if everybody feel it's okay it's okay that's how that's how societies work mm -hmm. in a religious society it's not what society thinks it's what God tells them is okay to do you understand mm -hmm. so yeah. if God okay said, if God oh, said, relax relax we're getting to the point we're getting to the point. Is not very good. I understand we're, get, we're getting to the point now Islam is a beautiful religion how Beca do you know because that? Because Alhamdulillah, I live it and I experience it. What now, is what is beautiful about it with this with this particular issue is that there are a whole series of considerations that you must make before a, a young lady, a young child, or a young woman can get married. Many considerations. Is she sexually mature, pubescent? Is she emotionally ready? Does she want to marry? Or is she saying no? Do the society deem it to be okay? Is it a cultural norm? If all of these things are not there, then the age will be higher. That's why in most Muslim countries today, you have to be 18. You can't get married at even 16. Why? Because they've seen Society, yeah? because they've seen that today the way we bring up our children 
is very different from the way they brought up their children back then. They, today we have school, college, yeah. university. People go to work, okay? They do all sorts of different things today. People live to the 80s, 90s. In those days, the average age was 25, 27. I, I, I make your point. Okay, I, I so when all of these things are taken into consideration, yeah, yeah. this is how we come up with the age. Now, if you claim something is immoral, you have to first prove to me on first principles that what you're telling me is fact. All you're doing is playing with emotion. You're saying, oh, but you look at a nine-year-old today. You know why it's fucked? Because why you don't but have But nine-year-old today is not nine-year-old. Nine nine, because today is 2022. Yeah. We live till we're 80 years old. We're educated differently. We are mature differently. We even, in fact, in hotter countries. No, but it's in, good or in, wrong for you to marry nine years old. This is my question. Okay. It's good or not? Now? Yes or no? Now? No, no, in general. It's no, good for no, you. No, but because when, no. Because your prophet do that. But so when you say you, to no. me, is it good? Yeah. You have to ask me. When is it good or when now. is it bad? Now, now it's no good. Why? But why? What, what? God but God didn't, though, did he? God, 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 no, no, but God, God didn't. Did. Are, are you saying me? God said. Makes, God said. Listen. His own way. God, no, no, no. What did God say? God said that they have to be sexually mature, mentally mature, physically and mentally ready, right? and yeah. society have to, yeah. and it has to be a societal yeah. norm. People have to agree to it. In other words, because of their lifestyle, they have assessed that it's okay to marry at this age. Today, our circumstances are very different. So we don't get, I would not get so my daughter married at nine years old today. But, but hold on a second. Is only for but no, 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 but hold on a second. This now, now, this is the foolish question that you're asking. Because if 1400 years ago, you as a father, him as a father, me as a father, we would have probably all got our daughters married at nine and ten years old. That's the reality. But today our minds are changed because of obviously our circumstances have changed. Environment has changed. So our conditioning has changed. Society has changed. But you're trying to judge with the 22nd, you know, uh, uh, you know 2022, uh, 21st century with our norms today. And you're not thinking that they were living in a completely different paradigm. 1400 years ago you're saying it's wrong today so it must be wrong back then that's ridiculous you can't make that you can't make yeah, that argument is the word of god forever or it's only for one time the, wor time. the word of god is forever that's why allah so said why now is not is not because good, allah ta because allah taught us what? because allah taught us that sexual maturity age uh, 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 physical maturity yeah. the willingness of the person to get married the desire to get married uh, and for example, the social dynamics of the society have to be taken into consideration. So when we take all those things into consideration today, we say, look, 16, 18, maybe even 20. Okay? Because things have changed. But you no, can't... But nine but, years old, you can find a girl that have the age of puberty. Why you don't marry her? I've, I've, I've explained that to you in detail, three times. More than three no, times. No, maybe why? five times why? I've explained Because this is the word of God. You say it's forever. Because so the, what's wrong if you... Because what is, the, what, what is the word of God? say to you when you can get married it's a frame of reference not the no, no. when when did, when, when this other no 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 don't 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 die but that, brother don't let him don't let him escape what does the word of God say to you when you can marry a, 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 in, in Islam when, and, and when Judaism, she, by the way? When she know what she, she's doing. So mentally ready, Feb, yeah. physically Feb, ready. ready. That's what God says, yes? Yeah. Uh, and social dynamics, social norms, what the society deems... cannot force her. What the society deems reasonable, right? All of those things, yes? Yeah. But that's what, that's what Islam is. Important is. But that's is what Islam is. The puberty and the, the adultery. To be, to be adult. But this is... But, adult, eh? Mentally ready. Yes. No, no, but I do. So I if uh, mature, the, mature, exactly. Yeah. Sorry. Thank yeah. you. Someone is nine. If it now or then, if someone is nine and says yes to marriage, like that, that's a, a valid. Like, if a nine-year-old today says I want to get married, yeah, we can say to her no. Why? On what basis? I'll, I'll explain to you. Now I'll explain this for the fifth time. Because it's not just puberty. Get that oh, through your head. Just puberty. No, no, it's not. Now it's just not puberty. It was never just puberty. It was always this rule. The Prophet ﷺ, when he explained how the marriage should be done and in the Quran, it was never just, okay, puberty, marry. No, it wasn't like this. Cultural norms. Cultural, that cultural you sense. She was ready. That's why the, in, it's, this, is the, this is the beautiful thing about Islam. You see, Islam um, put minimum age. It doesn't mean you should marry as soon as the child reaches puberty and they become a woman. That's not what Islam is. 
Islam says don't marry younger than this. When in Europe, they were marrying six-year-olds, five-year-olds. <coughs> At that time, Islam said it's haram. You can't do that. Okay, when other cultures around the world were marrying at six, seven and eight, even many of our kings here were marrying at six and seven years old. No, 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 hold on. Right? So when they were marrying here, when they, when they were marrying here, Islam said this was not right. Because you had to have the age of puberty and there had to be maturity. So I've, look, I've explained it to you. I've, look, I've, I've explained it to you. Look, listen, listen, I've explained it to you. You now five times. I think even if I explain it to a donkey this many times, they will understand. But, but the fact is, you guys, I think clearly, you've made your mind up. You're not interested. You're not interested in. You're not. You're not. You're not someone, one you're, French or one English guy, gonna marry a nine year old. Google it. Google it. Uh, the kings and king, the kings and queens in England. What, at what age were they marrying one another? Go to Google it. You'll find it like in five, two minutes, one minute. And it, and, and it was only in Judaism and in Islam that we had a minimum age that you can't marry below puberty. Why? Why? Because, because a woman is ready for uh, giving birth and having children at the age of puberty and historically all societies including your society and your society wow, that's what right? I'm they all looked at puberty as womanhood. All of them. It's only today that you're trying to throw that all under the bus because it doesn't suit your argument. Even your forefathers, they looked at puberty Puberty, that was womanhood. That's when you became a woman. Six, 16 and 18 is a modern phenomenon today. Should the Prophet have the same uh, rules as everyone else, do you think? He did have the same rules as everybody else. And what were the rules? The rules were sexual maturity, i.e. you have to be pubescent. Number two, you have to be willing. Also, the father, the, the wali, the, the father and the mother, the father has to agree to the marriage. That's so he. So he has to, he has to, because he knows his daughter, he has to know that yes, she's ready or she's not ready. And he can decide that, no, actually, you know what, she's not ready, I want to wait another year, another two years, another five years. It's his choice. So all of this thing gets to take into consideration. And this system that you're, that you're criticizing was a system that didn't exist anywhere in the world. It's only in the last 100, 150 years that age of consent is even an issue in the West. You want to ignore, you want to ignore, you want to, you want to ignore, well, it was an issue in Islam. That's why they discussed this in detail. That's what I'm asking about. I want to, I don't know, you try to avoid or I don't. I didn't avoid anything you said. I say, what you say, I say, if you find now a nine years old, with all the, the four things that you mentioned. Yes. She needs to have. Yes. To marry. Yes. If you find her and she have the four, even more than Yes. Her, can you marry her? And the societal norms agree. Yeah. The society you agrees. Her. You can marry her, yes, now, in Islam. Yes, of You're course. Take. Well, am I going to marry a nine-year-old yeah. today? Yeah. This is a ridiculous we, thing. No, no, no. No, no, no. All the rules that you say. Listen, I'm, I, I'm not going to marry a nine-year-old because I'm not Why? attracted to a nine-year-old. That's not how I am. That's yeah, not my makeup. Yeah. Right now, What's the other wrong thing. As example, the thing, Why not? Because our society has changed. No, I our, say our, society our sensibilities changing. have changed. I'm saying our life, the our life expect, same. our life expectancy has changed. You're, you're giving now a hypothetical situation on something no, that has completely I changed. You find yourself in trouble. That's why. You don't want to answer. No, no, no. I said true. because I say, okay. I say to him now, if it's there normal, are still girls today getting married. Mar there are still there. If I okay, no, hold on a second. So if I was in the Amazon jungle, I probably would marry an Ainu. Yes, because that would be my culture. That would be the norm. In the Amazon jungle, you go to the Amazon jungle, Amazonia, right? We don't I'm not going to have. The, I'm not going to have. About now. I'm not. I'm not going to. No. Today there are people in the Amazon. I say now. Tribes. Old, tribes. Say there he, are people. She loves you. She yes. wants you. You want her. As a yes. Is that okay? for you to take as well. Now you're saying to me is it legally okay if the society agrees that this is this age is acceptable it's suitable and that she's and and it she's acceptable and I'm she's saying, physically yes. mature yeah. and she's mentally mature is that now haram to do forbidden to do it wouldn't be haram to do forbidden to do now am i going to am i going to want to marry somebody like that no i'll tell you why because my cultural upbringing my sensibilities my con my, my whole view on life is is today in today's age so it's unacceptable. If I was now living in the Amazon jungle, 
where there are people who get, get married at nine and ten years old, it would be normal. That would be the societal normal rules. What you're trying to do is you're using the fallacy of presentism, where you're, where, where it's a fallacy, it's a fallacious argument. If you're prophet, why, because why you're you judging, that, because you're. I mean. So no, you see, the, this is the, this is the, the, you, you know, this is. If you're do, why are you doing now you it? showed your true colors. You know why? Do, you know why? You know why you show your true colors? What true colors? True colors mean your true nature. Yeah. I've explained you. First of all, you said to me, "Show me the hadith." If you show me the hadith, that she will, I'll accept it. No. Hold on a second. I will discuss. Uh, 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 right. I will discuss. Then I went through all of the. Did I say I will then, discuss? Then I will you, you, said, you said I'll accept it. It's okay. Accept, but I will. You said, I will, uh, you said it's accepted. Okay. Right. Continue the conversation. So then I gave you all of the different paradigms yeah. that are necessary to make something lawful. You still, you still stubbornly want to stick to your initial point, negating everything I've said. You know what I'm saying is right, but you don't want to accept it. But it's not right. Like you don't want to accept it. But it's not right. Okay. You know that. Okay. Everyone, What's the okay? Everyone now okay. Is not, is okay. Not okay. Normal. Okay. Then. Okay. What age? What age? What age is acceptable? What age is acceptable? Come on. Let's see how clever you are now. That's how old you are. Ah. Uh, what age is acceptable? Come on. The girls. Why is it taking so long for the you? Girls. Come on. Quick. Quick. The girls need to be adult, mature. How? How old? What's the age? 16, 17. Prove that to but me. But now it's 18. Prove it to me. What proof do you have? What evidence do you have? Proof. Come on. Scientif scientifically. Yes. Scientifically. What scientifically? People. Which which get science? Adult what science? After uh, I don't know which, uh, but for sure no nine years old. For sure. Where's your evidence? Come on. You're, you're now I'm making a claim. Now, man, like you said. You're making Google a claim. What, Google, what? shall I Google? Tell go, me. Go to the Google. Tell me. What shall I Google? What shall I Google? Google uh, what uh, age is the okay. the age of adu uh, mature. Okay. Where someone get mat mature? Uh, which age? Age of maturity. Yeah. Age of maturity. Okay. Under most laws, that is just t today's laws. Yes. It's 18. Why is but, 18? Uh, but today's laws. Yeah. Why? Because, because according to psychologists, to okay. scientifically, yes. the bread, they, okay. they, they, they just what they would analyze the bread, everything. You know, they okay. don't take a decision okay. because they sleep. Okay. And they say, okay, today I will not change. And and they would, make would, decision and would that, because would that, according to science. And would that apply in the according to the everything the and, body and would that, is at age and, of eight. And would that apply to uh, would that apply to uh, the uh, the seventh century? Seventh century. Yeah. Did you ask me now which which ages? I, I I'm asking you for now. Years. I'm asking you for now. 18. Okay. Yes. Eighteen. So your your evidence is that you're saying that science is telling you that at eighteen. Okay. So what if a girl is uh, seventeen and she's already done her A levels and done her bachelor's degree because I'm she's gonna very wait very one year clever and I will marry because she's very clever. I will wait one, one year, year and I will marry. And what if the eighteen year old actually is more mentally age of about twelve year old? If it's 12 year old, I will I will wait when she go. 18. No no no, she's 18, but her mental maturity and age is like a 12 year old. Will you marry her? Of course, because she's she's. Uh... Also, you'll marry her. She, so you... But this is but this is not a question because this. See how the problems arise no, 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 now? No, it's not it's not about problem because when you see someone, you meet someone, you understand if it's mature or no. You know. Listen, if you tell me something is immoral, it's the evidence is the, the proof of of the uh, evidence is upon you. You have to tell me why something is wrong as a matter, as an axiom, as a matter of fact. The problem that you have is that age of consent throughout human history has changed depending upon the needs of the society, the, 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 the culture of the society. And in certain countries, in hot countries, for example, girls can reach puberty quicker, earlier. Right? Yeah, in France. France. Right. 14. 14. In France. So you're going to go to France and yeah, marry a 14 year old? Years. Okay. You so, are you, nine years so, old. so are you going to marry a 14 year old then? Are you going to marry a 14 year old? 18, no, no, no. Not, uh, not, not over the world. Not everywhere in the world. In some places in America, you could marry a 12 year old. 17 centuries UK, 7 years old can get yeah? married legally. With the, with, the, with the parents' consent in America, there are certain states that you can marry at 12 yeah, or 13. Not, look, no, no. So are you going to marry a 12? Years old, are you going to marry a 12? Why, why are you not going to Married child. well? Why? Still child. But, the, but it's legal in America in some places. Yeah, but no one is uh, married well. How do you know that? How, how do you know that? No, in America it's 18. No, everywhere. there are certain states.
states in America. And I should bring that. Let's Google that up for years. you. I'll Google that up for you as well. So it's well under 18. In France, it's I think 14 or 15. So it's same then, yeah. In 14 or it's 15. Same, yeah. To take 12. What about now? No, no, I'm not saying. I'm not saying it's a shame. Now? I'm not saying. You know, well, that's I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's a shame. You see, because you're asking I'm not, me. I'm not asking it's a shame. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. Show him the age of consent. Age of consent. Yeah. Your team, your team. Germany, 14. Portugal, Macedonia, Montenegro, France. This is about mature, the, when they get mature. So, so are they paedophiles when those people are all paedophiles that are marrying at that age? Are they doing wrong? Yeah, why you don't talk about it? Why are you quiet now? Come on, speak. Sorry. Speak, why are you quiet? So quiet now. You're Albanian. No, no, no. Speak, speak, speak. Ah, okay, speak. so I thought you're Albanian, that's why. So are those because people... Albania, it's better so for are those to, people to, all doing to immoral? speak with you, you understand? It's, it's better to speak with you. Are those people all immoral? Because it's American, okay, yeah. Now he's 18. I don't know. Are those people all immoral? He's not talking about Muslims. He's talking about the prophets. Yeah, because so America, America, are those people all immoral? No, but they're not. Yes. For you, he is. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you think. He's talking about the prophet. It doesn't matter what you the think. It doesn't matter what he thinks. It doesn't matter why. Never marry a nine years old. That's what. That's his point. You see, you keep you running. Never, never you, you keep regurgitating no, the same line. Christian. And when I've explained to you that you're judging a matter in the 20 in 2022, and you're applying your logic and your reason and your maturity and your understanding of today and you're applying it on the 7th century. People died before they were 25, 30 years old. So if you're 18 and you wait till you get married, maybe your child is 4, 3 and you're already dead. It's a completely different situation. You're talking about a completely different situation and you want to apply social norms of today retrospectively and you're insisting that it's immoral and it's wrong. You know, so I, I think your argument you know, really no, no. falls apart on so yeah. many levels. Uh, why, why are the other prophets before they that, that didn't do it? In the Bible, Rebecca was three years old. Mansur. Which three, prophet? How old, how old was Rebecca in the Bible? According to the calculation, yes. three. three. Three years old. Yes. If you look at was, the Old Testament, the you look at Rebecca was the wife of... Um, who, who was Re Rebecca the wife of? I think so, yeah. Oh yeah, Nazam. See, you don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm, I'm asking. No, no, you're not asking. No, 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 no. You're not asking me. You're telling me. That's the problem. How old was Rebecca in the Bible? Calculated to three, three years old. Who was she the wife of? I was two or three. Um, Jacob. Jacob. Yeah. Three years. Yeah, three years old, right? In jail. Yeah, for me, it's wrong. Okay, but the point I'm trying to make to you is that for you, the only wrong that you are pointing out is the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who consummated the marriage at nine, not three, by the way. Yes? Yeah, but why? And, are you and after that? I. Isaac. Isaac, sorry, Isaac. Isaac. Yeah? And after explaining I everything, that. after explaining that. everything to you and the beautiful rules within Islam that safeguard the woman that she has to be sexually matured, mentally matured, uh, she has to be pubescent, her father have to, has to agree, her, her guardian has to agree, and society, the social norms are taken into consideration. All of these caveats are there to protect society. And Allah in His wisdom knew that this age will change because the needs of humanity will change. If you're going to die at 25, you're not going to get married at 18. You're going to get married at 9, 10 years old because you will need to have children quickly. Otherwise, before your children even grow up, you'll be dead. So Allah in His wisdom knew that this will change. Today, most Muslim countries is 18. Because the maturity has changed, the education, the way the children are educated has changed, the life expectancy has changed. So the age of consent, the age of marriage has changed. But what you're saying is no. It's wrong because it's wrong today. And that's the fallacy of presentism. I keep telling you, but you keep you keep adopting this fallacious argument and you're not prepared to even think about that. What I advise you two to do, yeah, but go I away and about think Aisha about... Was, uh, was ready uh, physically. Uh, uh, Man I'm Mansur, I gave the hadith of Aisha saying that no, she was pu physically. pubescent when the Prophet ﷺ used to visit uh, Abu Bakr uh, at least once or twice a day. And she says she was pubescent in, in, in Muslim. So he's, he's arguing 
What's the evidence that she was pubescent? Please? Not pubescent. Uh, that was already uh, physically. Physically. Because nine years old now with 15. That was okay. Europe. Throughout human history, what was the time when a person was deemed ready for marriage? All human history. Not today, not 50 years, for thousands of years. What was the age? Before. Wait, wait, wait. For thousands of years, your forefathers, his forefathers, my forefathers. What did they deem as a person's readiness for marriage? What was the criteria? The one of the main criteria. What was it? To marry. To get married. Or? Yes. Well, as I told you, maturity. No. It was pubescent. Puberty was the signal before which there was no consideration for marriage. After puberty, you could now consider whether this person was now ready with all of the other criteria that Allah has placed, okay, whether the person is ready for marriage or not. But before that, for thousands of years, everybody adopted puberty. Today, because things have changed dramatically, so people live much longer, people are educated very differently. There were no formal uh, secondary schools and high schools and universities. There was, there was not this academia that people studied till they were 25 and lived till they were 80. Things were very different. So all of human society had puberty. Now you're telling me that all of the historical people throughout all of history were all immoral. They all did wrong by doing this. I'm sorry, that's just a ri ridiculous argument. Because that's what you're arguing. You're arguing for thousands of years, millions of people who adopted these principles of, pu of being pubescent as the age of, of readiness, right? You're saying that we're all wrong and you're right today. Because I think it's wrong. And that makes sense to you. And you're not even prepared to go away and think about things. You just keep going back to. I, I don't have you, to think about. No, no, because anyway you, yeah, but, yeah, but nobody's I, nobody's I asking. See, but about this about is the that. foolishness of your argument. Nobody's asking you to For think sure about. Now, because I'm leaving now. Nobody, I, I don't to, uh, nobody. Oh, you have to ask. No, why? nobody's asking you to think about marrying a nine-year-old today. Nobody's asking you to do that. Yeah, but even that would be a crazy notion. It's not wrong. That would be a crazy. Your prophet do it. No, this is my my. You know what I mean? You don't you don't need to be ashamed. If, if you, you, do that you haven't heard a single thing I've said, have you? No, really? I, it's like I'm talking I, to a brick wall. No, no, I told you. If you do that, it's did, not, the, it's did the prophet? Wrong, did, because your prophet do it. Okay. Did the prophet? Say, did saying. the prophet say you can get married once a girl is pubescent? Sorry. Did the prophet say you can get married to a girl once she's pubescent? You. Did the prophet say you can get married to a girl once she's reached puberty? He do that. No? Did he say that? Yes, sir. Did he say but that? He do that. No. Did he say that? But he do that. No. Did he say that? He do that or no? Did he say that? But he do that. He did, show you how he do it. Answer the question. Did he say that? Why? You need to say for the... I'm asking you, did the prophet say, once a girl reaches puberty, you marry her? You can marry her. Did he say that? What, what's he say then? Did, did I tell you... you did, did I give you all the other criteria? Yeah. You remember them? What's wrong if you did I give you all like the other prophet? Did I give you all the other criteria? You, you give me. Yes. What were the criteria? What were the criteria? What's wrong if you What were the criteria? Are you following the prophet? What were the criteria? What were the criteria? Are you following the prophet? What were the criteria that I gave you? Puberty? You keep yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, mentally. Yes. Uh, physically. Yes. And something else I forget. I forget. Yeah. Uh, uh, parents have to agree. Her yeah, guardian parents, has to agree. Yeah, of course. And societal norms yeah. have to agree as well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. If all of those things are in place, like they are in place today in some parts of the world, yeah, we are not. So, for example, society, so for I'm example, saying. as I mentioned to you, the Amazon jungle, there are people today where those criteria are fulfilled. So they marry at very, very young. Their children get married very young. Okay. Today here, up the criteria we are not met so we don't and that's the answer okay. Understand. Now do you understand? Yeah. Good. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. Uh, Raja, what you wear now? You cannot, you cannot wear it back then. Sorry? What you wear now? What do you wear now? Guys, microphones. What I wear? I wear now. I don't wear now. Yes, but this is not. I think it's other thing. This is other thing. No, but this is other thing. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that for me is not good, you know. But anyway.
Thank you for your time, All right. man. No problem. Talk what to what, you what next I'm going to say to you is this. Look, it's very easy to make a judgment. It's very oh, easy. No, I'm just listen, discuss, listen, but listen to what I'm saying. have a discussion, listen, you know? I know, but discussion means that when you ask something, at least be open yes. to the answer. Yeah, that's why I was, no, no, I was but, hurt. But, but, but the point is this. I went through the formula five, seven times. And you still okay, maybe and, and my you, understanding was not and good. And you still said to me, my English is not but, good. And you and still said to me, but would you marry nine year old today? I said, bro, I've just given you the whole thing of why why it's not acceptable today, okay? On what basis? And you just went back to the yeah, same as thing. As a Muslim, did you do you follow the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad? That, the, uh, the, listen to me. Do you follow his life as well? The, of course How we follow. Of course we follow the Sunnah of the Prophet I'm Muhammad. What's wrong if you get my? You, you okay. just follow his we, we, his life. When we follow the Prophet you know? Sallallahu life. Yeah. We have to follow the guidance that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi gave as well. So the Prophet used to ride on a camel. That's the Sunnah. I don't need to tie a camel here and start riding a camel around, do I? Or drinking camel the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, yeah? camel the Prophet urine, yeah? Sallam, never travel on an aeroplane. But I travel on an aeroplane. No, no, it's not about. I don't that. have to do. You measure something I don't good have because to drink the, the camel the, urine. For example, well, yeah? the Prophet well, wore some clothes. I don't have to wear those clothes. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So everything is different for a, a different time, and that's how it's explained, and that's how we understand it. The difference is that in Europe, they didn't have this understanding. In Europe, they didn't have this understanding. The rest of the world did not have this yeah? Okay. okay. I Guys, take the microphones, please. Voice, microphones. Jesus said. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. No problem.